I'm just going to give a very short intro to the hydroponic controller made with Wattmon. So this is the overall view of the system. It's still under construction, but I'll just explain the different parts. So this is the Wattmon uh, controller, which can do many different things. It's a small mini embedded computer um, with a bunch of IO lines. And most importantly, here you can see the Modbus RS-45 output, which goes into the central thing and hooks to this module which is uh, connected to the distance sensors. So these are ultrasonic distance sensors and the idea is to mount them on top of the nutrient tanks and they will tell you the distance between this and the water level. So it will be an easy way to um, be able to keep track of the heights of the acid and the A and the B nutrients. So there are three of them connected to that. Uh, from there it goes to the pH TDS module which um, also has Modbus RS-45 so all of these are daisy chainable together so each of the different modules has two different ports an in and an out and you can just interconnect all of them so these two are not yet connected that's the next step so the pH and the TDS connect to here and would then be stuck into the water from there the bus goes back and it goes to the LCD module which is also Modbus RS-45 uh, it's a 4 by 20 so you'll be able to display four lines of data such as temperatures, uh, whatever you want. Uh, and from there it goes to the final location which is the uh, 8i, 8o module which is also Modbus. This has eight digital outputs which are connected to relays here so you can pretty much power anything. And eight digital inputs which you could use for example for float level sensors or whatever you need to do. Uh, these are now um, connected up to different things. Uh, for example, here we've got three dosing pumps. So each of those is connected to one of the relays. These are 12 volt dosing pumps. So one is going to be connected to the acid, one to the A and one to the B. And we've got here a solenoid. So the idea is that the water will flow in through the solenoid through this uh, flow meter, which will give a pulse output and then into the nutrient or into the main water tank. So the whole thing can be fully automated. So we've got four relays already used with that. And uh, I have four relays free for other things. For example, if we want to set up a Dutch bucket system, there would be two relays used for that. Perhaps an automatic watering system for the seedlings could be also hooked up to one of them. So all of that will be programmatically done in the, in the Wattmon through the web interface. Um, Additionally, we've got temperature sensors. So these have already been in the tank for a while. You can see they're slightly yucky looking. Uh, there's two. One is for the nutrient tank and one is for the um, ambient temperature. And these connect in here to the one wire bus of the Wattman. So this system, when it's running, will basically be able to control and monitor the entire uh, greenhouse from one location. And uh, it will be web accessible through the LAN or in a remote location, you could also plug in a dongle and uh, it could be truly remote over cellular data. I hope this little demo gives you an idea of the capabilities and uh, inspires you to contact us and uh, discuss about how we could help you with it.